We're here with Representative Mike Sells from the 38th District. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing fine. So it's like a month into session. How are things going? Well, we haven't done a lot with legislation on the House floor, but we're doing a lot in committee, quite frankly, and uh, working a lot of bills. Focus has been around education, transportation, and those things that need to be done to build a strong economy here in the state of Washington. Now, all over the news, there is talk about workers' compensation. Now, didn't we just do that last year? Yes, we did. Actually, it was 2011. We passed a billion and a half in rate savings to the businesses of this state. We're watching to make sure some of these reforms and changes are working. So what is it that people want to do with workers' comp now? Well, I think they want to expand some things that really hurt workers, uh, cut their benefits. Uh, that doesn't help the economy because businesses depend on customers, and when you cut the benefits and wages of customers, your business goes away. Now, I understand that the reforms that the legislature passed a couple years ago ended up saving a lot of money for businesses. Yeah, it was a billion and a half savings to ratepayers, and so when they set the rates for the last two years, they've been flat. There's been no change. And we're also building up the funds and reserves that need to be there to make sure the system is solvent. But another issue that has also been around the news is the underground economy. And some people don't know what that is. Can you explain to us what that even means? Well, essentially, it's finding people that work off the books. You don't pay benefits on them. You pay under, if you're a building trades, prevailing wage. And what you do in the process is you undermine those legitimate businesses that are doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, when it comes to workers and paying their taxes. And misclassification also falls into underground economy. It's a lot of times somebody will hire somebody and say they're, quote, an independent contractor when they're really working under the direction of the employer. Mm -hmm. As an independent contractor, they can get away with not paying uh, Social Security, for instance, or not paying uh, the Medicare fund. That hurts those legitimate businesses that are doing the right thing. Are we losing a lot of money there? I'm not sure it's huge amounts, but it is a large amount mm -hmm. of money that should be in the revenue that we need to make for strong schools and a strong transportation system. Now, your seatmate, Representative John McCoy, has a bill addressing the underground economy. Right. It's a wage theft bill, and it uh, gives the Department of Labor and Industries much more uh, control at looking into these businesses that are flouting the law and can bring them to account. Okay. Your committee is labor and workforce development. Yes. What are the news around workforce development? Much of what we need to do in workforce development is funding. A lot of it is even broad education funding, but more importantly, if you want to talk about workforce development, there's training that needs to be done, particularly around our industrial clusters like aerospace or the marine sector, uh, that kind of thing. And if you look at the governor's budget that came out, you'll see little pockets of where we're placing money and targeting around the kind of training that will lead to good family wage jobs. It's great talking to you as always. Uh, we wish you luck and we will see you next time. All right, thank you.